Russia has deployed an advanced anti-missile system to Syria for the first time, three U.S. officials told Fox News. The latest indication that Moscow continues to ramp up its military operations in Syria in support of President Bashar Assad. It comes after Russia's actions led to the collapse of a ceasefire and the cutoff of direct talks with the U.S., so they say. While Moscow's motives are not certain, officials say that the new weapon system could potentially counter any American cruise missile attack in in Syria. Components of the SA-23 Gladiator anti-missile and anti-aircraft system, which has a range of roughly 150 miles, arrived over the weekend on the docks of a Russian naval base along Syria's Mediterranean coastal city of Tartus, two U.S. officials said. It is the first time Russia has deployed the SA-23 system outside its borders, according to one Western official citing a recent intelligence assessment. The missiles and associated components are still in their crates and are not yet operational, according to the officials. The U.S. intelligence community has been observing the shipment of the SA-23s inside Russia in recent in weeks, according to one official. While the purpose is not clear, one U.S. official asked sarcastically, Nersha doesn't have an air force, do they? Speaking about the Al-Qaeda linked group in Syria, the Islamic State also does not fly any manned aircraft or possess cruise missiles in a sign that Russia is directing its actions to protect itself against any potential attack from the United States or its allies. The SA-23 can fire two different types of missiles. A similar missile is used against aircraft and cruise missiles and is known by NATO as Gladiator. The larger missile is used against intermediate range ballistic missiles and jamming aircraft and is known as Giant. Both missiles use the same type of warhead containing over 300 pounds of explosives, according to a MilitaryToday.com article. Three years ago, Obama weighed military action against the Assad regime, chemical weapons facilities, as well as air bases housing the regime's attack helicopters and jets. U.S. Navy ships in the eastern Mediterranean were prepared to launch Tomahawk cruise missiles in a limited strike to cripple the regime. Russia deployed a separate air defense system, the S-400 to Syria after a Russian jet was shot down by a Turkish warplane last November. Since the S-400 deployment, the U.S. military has been careful about flying manned aircraft inside the range of the system, despite repeated pledges by the U.S. military that its airstrikes in Syria are focused on ISIS, not the Assad regime. Yeah, right. Monday, the Pentagon announced it conducted an airstrike potentially killing a prominent Al-Qaeda-linked operative in Syria. Officials said they are still assessing the strike and have not released the name of their target. Now, this move by Russia is a very dangerous move, and it also shows that Russia is very, very serious about what's going on over there in Syria. They're ramping the, their actions up big time over there. Now, let's not also forget that Russia also had a very large drill inside their country that's going on right now as of me making this video of them preparing for nuclear war. Russia is not playing around, folks, and the United States is over there causing problems. Now, you will not hear that on the mainstream media here in the United States at all as they continue to lie and deceive everybody. But the United States is causing the biggest problems over there by being over there and attacking uh, Russian for forces and Syrian forces, and they're not actually attacking ISIS. Those are the facts, guys. Don't take my word for it. Do your own research. Let me know what you think in this video. Is Russia just simply defending their assets over there against the United States? Or are they preparing for a bigger military role in Syria? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.